In this video, we're going to wrap our minds around the origin of the structure of our universe. And in order to do that, we're first going to state the problem, why we would think that the universe would not have the structure that it has. Then we're going to have to understand quantum fluctuations. And once we understand quantum fluctuations, we're going to be able to combine the quantum fluctuations with inflationary theory to understand how the structure of the universe got its initial steerings. Let's tackle all of that right now. One of the limitations of the Big Bang Theory is that it can't explain the structure of the universe. In the conventional Big Bang Theory, the universe started with a bunch of spots that were separate from each other that just started expanding. But if those spots were not in contact with each other, then it's presumed that they would be wildly different from place to place. And therefore, as that gets blown up, the structure of the universe should be wildly different from place to place. But that's not what we see. We see pretty regular structure in the universe on a scale of 250 million light years and below. In order to begin to think our way through this, one of the things that we need to understand are quantum fluctuations. You'll understand why when we combine quantum fluctuations with inflation in the next step. First, let's take a look at this image of quantum fluctuations and you'll notice that quantum fluctuations are coming in and out at all times at the quantum level. There's no law of the conservation of energy at this level. The fact is, is that every single region of space is constantly fluctuating at slight energy levels up and down, up and down. But all of these fluctuations are happening around a base, around the mean amount of energy that it's going below or above in slight amounts. Normally, this presents any of these quantum fluctuations of becoming real sustained fluctuations because they're waxing in and out of existence and they're constantly around this average mean so that if you look at a large enough scale, you don't really see any fluctuations at all because they're all canceling each other out and over time, each individual one is canceling itself out either way. However, when we look at inflation, there's a way that we could take these fluctuations and we can make them real. We can make them lasting. Inflation has the power of freezing quantum fluctuations while they're happening. Inflation has the power to freeze quantum fluctuations such that the new mean around which there will be new fluctuations will be that initial fluctuation will be either be higher, that will be the mean, or lower, that will be the mean, and the fluctuations will happen around that instead of the original mean. The way inflation does that is that inflation moves areas of space away from each other at faster than the speed of light. And what happens when you do that is that over and over, more and more regions of space are not interacting with the regions that they were just interacting with. They're being taken out of the realm of interaction, or the technical term, taken out of the Hubble sphere taken out of the realm of causal connectivity. And what happens is, is that if there's a quantum fluctuation as one region is leaving the other region, this new region will have a new sense of what its baseline is. If it were attached, its baseline would stay the same. It would just fluctuate around that baseline. But because it had, let's say, a slightly positive energy fluctuation, now that region, when it gets frozen out, when it moves faster than light from this other region, it doesn't know anymore. It doesn't have the latent knowledge that its baseline was supposed to be here. Its new baseline is a little higher. It's over here, and now the fluctuations are going to happen over here. Or if the initial fluctuation was lower, it's going to happen over here. And that gives us, at regular intervals, differences in density. And across time, those densities are exacerbated by the gravitational effects. The more energy or density you have in any given area, the more energy that will accrue to that area. And the places with the lower density differentials will increasingly give way to the gravitational effects of the more dense areas and become more and more empty. And that's how we've done it. The density differentials in our universe were initially brought on by the freezing effect that inflation has on quantum fluctuations as it expands a space at faster than the speed of light. Till next time.